He's going to get the first down. It's down. Extreme family, what is good, everybody? It is your boy Snipes. We are back in the building, and we got the AFC divisional round action about to take place. As we got Jack Boys and the 12 and 5 Chiefs taking on T Bird Zero, aka T Birds for short, at 13 and 4 Tennessee Titans. This should be a excellent matchup. And again, I'm so pumped once again. Look, we we did we wasn't on your on, on your channel before, but we're back here again, and we're finally we got our faces here this time around. Uh, my man Scream is in the building. What is good, Scream? Good to see you, brother. Kept and hanging in there, man. Just came off a great, amazing playoff game call. Yeah. Uh, shocked at the shocked at the end there, man. But you know. It's going to be an interesting championship game season over in any given Sunday. Uh, Bears lost to the Packers, so we're going to see Lions, Packers in the NFC. Yeah. And we're going to see uh, Broncos at Chargers for the AFC. So AFC West and AFC North are the best two divisions for us over there, man. But Crazy. Hopefully Crazy. we get these games tomorrow so we can call them. We'll see what happens, though, man. But, yeah, you know, enough talk about that. We got to talk about Jack, boys. Yeah. We gotta, what's his name again? You just yeah, said yeah, it. Yeah, T-Birds. T-Birds. T-Birds and the Titans. Yeah. yeah. Looking at these stats, man, I'm I'm very impressed to see that this is what's been done with the Titans. Uh, mm -hmm. Malik Willis usually starts for most Titans players, and Tannehill goes to the back of the line. Mm -hmm. So when I look at this setup here, you know, Jack, boys, has the second-ranked scoring defense yeah. and second in pass yardage. So – that doesn't matter necessarily because the Titans have Derrick Henry. So Derrick Henry needs to lead the way. He's seventh rush defense, but it's Derrick freaking Henry. <laughs> exactly. Derrick freaking Henry, man. Exactly. Uh, and, and then when I look at the Titans and their statistics, they're a top 10 team on both ends of the ball as well, mm -hmm. uh, only allowing uh, the third best rushing uh, defense. So Tony Pollard is going to have to try to figure it out there for Jack boys. Yep. And when we look at the rushing offense for the Titans, it's fourth as well. So it might just be Tony Pollard all night versus Derrick Henry all night. It depends yeah. on the weather conditions. We know Tennessee get kind of snowy in the playoffs. Yeah, exactly. And we're gonna figure it we're gonna figure it out shortly exactly what's gonna happen in that regard with the weather and everything else. Um, but um look, I'm gonna tell these guys to uh go ahead and get this game started because I know they are eager and ready to get this thing going. So let me tell them now uh to start up and then we can get this train rolling. I am so ready for this ball game. So um I'll tell you right now, I'm a you know, just because it's the playoffs, I'm going to take Jack Boys to win this game. Who do you have in this game? And I think it's going to be a close game. I think it's going to be I think it's going to be a a a, a 30 to 23 ball game. I'm calling that. Uh, you know, I've never seen the Titans play. I've seen a lot of Jack Boys work. Uh, looking at Neon's estimate, Neon has the Titans winning 30 to 27 in favor of those Titans. Yeah. And yeah. I think I'm going to agree with Neon. I think that Derrick Henry might just overpower the Chiefs defense. They're not the best run defenders per se, so it's gonna be a it's gonna be a lot for Jack Boy's offense to overcome this crazy offense of the Titans. And we'll see if he can do it. But I'm gonna go against you for once and pick those 13 and four Titans. Indeed, indeed. So kickoff underway, and here we go. So the Chiefs they're gonna get the football here first, and so they're gonna be starting off here with Patrick Mahomes. So Patrick Mahomes comes out here, 3,572 yards, 15 touchdowns. 
and 29 interceptions. Definitely some stats that you don't typically see from a Jack Boys quarterback. Yeah, and in learning Jack Boys this year, you know, my first time really talking with him and meeting him, he likes to take the game slow. He loves being methodical with his runs, and those runs set up his passes. So it's going to be interesting as he comes up in the pistol setup here, and looks like Tony Pollard is going to get the rock here, and he does. He bounces it outside, jukes him in inside. Nice little game for four yards. Yeah, second down to six here now at the 29-yard line. So Tony Pollard with 1,489 uh, excuse me, uh, rushing yards excuse me, and 19 rushing touchdowns, an average of about 4.6 a carry. So not a bad season at all here for Pollard as he comes out here in the gun set here again. Second down to six coming up. And Pollard in the backfield. This time he's going to get it again. And Pollard breaks a tackle. Can't get through the second, though. So that's going to be a third down and manageable three coming up. Big shout-out to my guy Dawson in the building. Good to see you here with the chat, brother. He said, Bill's Mafia. Let's go Snipes. <laughs> hey, yeah, Dawson had them Bills looking crazy, man. Definitely yeah. wish he would have made it further, too. Um, I like what I see here. You know, he's still in the playoffs, so excuse me for saying the wrong thing there. Hopefully he can get his dub versus the Bengals and uh, make some things shake. Indeed, indeed. Third down and three coming up here at the 32-yard line. Mahomes stays in his gun set. It's got Hardman there in that inside slot on the left side. He's going to hand it off again to Pollard. And this time he's met up at the line of scrimmage. Loss on the play. It's going to be a fourth down and four, and they're going to be forced to punt the football. Like we said, Tony Pollard and this run defense of the Titans is what we're looking for. We don't expect it to be too crazy, but when you're the fourth best rushing defense, or the third, excuse me, it's going to be hard to run the ball on these guys. Harold Landry and Bud Dupree on the outside set the edge. Jeffrey Simmons in the middle, and then you've got Caleb Farley and Christian Fulton out there as the cornerbacks setting the tone versus the Juju Smith-Schuster, the Marquez Valdez, Scantling, and Travis Kelsey. So, T-Birds, I'm not saying it's going to be a cakewalk, but it's going to be a three-point game for sure. Gotcha, gotcha. Here comes first and 10 here at the 41-yard line. And Willis coming out here. And he's going to hand this off here to Carter. Carter won't get much of anything there on the play. Just about a yard on the play. So we'll second down and nine. And uh, Willis, I'll tell you what, Malik Willis, 3,158 yards, 22 touchdowns, 39 interceptions for him. So both of these quarterbacks, the touchdown to interception, rate, interception ratios, Simply not there for both of these guys. Again, it is a more difficult game this year to pass the football because the defense plays so much better than it has in previous Madden cycles. As we get another pass here, this time to Derrick Henry on, this, on the screen play, and he'll get a big first down on the play as he just bulldozes down to the 40-yard line, and that's going to be a first and 10. I think what Jack Boys could have did better there was flip the blitz. And what I mean by that is he did bring a blitz off the edge, the strong hit that came from the left side of the field. He should have flipped it to come from the running back side because he could have clicked on that user really quickly, potentially got a swat ball or an interception and figured it all out. But that's not what happened. He gave up a big gain to Derrick Henry, and his defense is on auto flip. So that's part of the problem there. Usually you want to take that off and make sure you can make the read yourself instead. The defense is going to think stretch, and a stretch it is. And Henry gets knocked down in the backfield by George Carfalitis. Second down to 13 after that three-yard loss on the play. So 525 remaining here. Jack Boy's trying to step up on defense. He's got the second-ranked defense in the league, averaging about 18 points given up for this Chiefs defense. So going to be tough again here for T-Birds to get something going here with his okay, offense. Ready? His offense isn't bad, though, either. It's, it's not that bad. It's a sixth-ranked offense as far as points is concerned, averaging about 30 points a game. Let's see what he does here on second down to 13 as Wilson's back for the pass. He's got a wide open Henry and he misses him. That's a terrible throw right there. And it's a third down and 13. And let's see if that comes back to haunt him. Now you see what I mean when I say by Malik Willis is not the answer at times. Easy pass there. Derrick Henry's hands just did not work. Could have floated it really to give him more leeway and more room to get out. But that's not what happened. And now we're on third and 13. Third down to 13 here now at the 43-yard line. Henry in the backfield. And he's going out for a pass again. And he's not going to try it, but he does get it to Woods. And it Woods with a beautiful play right there. And what a laser there by Malik Willis. And he gets a big first down on the play. Interesting pass there. The guys played the sticks, and the sticks is what hurt him. When you play sticks, he's going to sit on that first down marker. And that's exactly what Nick Bolton did. He did not move a muscle, and he allowed a big gain to Robert Woods. 
So first and 10 now here at the 29-yard line. 4.33 remaining here in the first quarter here in this AFC divisional round action. T-Birds with a good drive here so far, already in field goal range, can at least put three up on the board. Let's see what he does here. Hands it off to Henry, and Derrick Henry trying to get it done there. Three-yard gain on the play, second down and seven here at the 25. I think, you know, something I said a lot just in the game I just called. Taking your time and playing your game is going to always, always trump anything your opponent is doing. You can make the adjustments all you want, but if you keep to your game and don't let your opponent get you out of character as he runs this jet touch pass here, good play call as he gets the, the bounce around with Traylon Burks. Gets behind uh, Derrick Henry for another block there and gets the first down. So You got to play your game, and what, what works for you works for you. Is it indeed, indeed. So Traylon Burks with that play right there. First and 10 now here at the 16. And you can see the Chiefs, they have Eric Berry as their legend player basically on this Chiefs defense. And one of the reasons too as well why they are the second ranked defense here. He's gonna throw that route up and that is incomplete. A tough try right there, but nonetheless a second and 10 here at the 16. Gotta watch out for the dangerous throws here in the end zone against the second ranked defense. And Willis gonna come right back out with a quick play call. Second down and 10 here at the 16. Going to hand it off here to Henry. Breaks to the right side. Breaks one. Can't break through the second. And that's going to be a loss of three on the play. Third down and 13 here for Derrick Henry and the crew. Not sure what's going on. This is this is actually crazy. And for the guys in the chat, we are not the ones playing. We just do the commentary. The users are the ones playing. The users' names are on the screen. We just commentate over the game and take the actual in-game commentary off. Uh, for you guys wondering uh, in Ray saying in Dakota. <laughs> Trailer Burks with a low ball catch right there. So it's going to bring it to a fourth and three. So interesting call here. If I'm Tennessee, I go for it. But he's going to kick a field goal. But I would go for it here on fourth and three and test out this defense just because they're the second ranked defense. That, that's just my call on it. What would you have done there, Scream? Uh, right there, I think I take my three. You know, it's the first quarter, and we're in the beginning of the game. And the mistakes that you make in the beginning are going to haunt you in the end because this is the playoffs. You can't get these games back. This is not the regular season anymore. You're in the divisional round. You're playing, and you're, you're home. You're comfortable. Your crowd is going to rile you up. But we've seen missed passes. Right. We've seen missed cues. And the shorter your field gets, the less room you have to run. I don't even think Derrick Henry gets those three yards there. Not going to lie, I don't think Derrick Henry gets those yards. Okay. Okay, respect respect on that call, though. Respect on that call. Nice RPO outside there to Miko Hardman. Breaks the tackle, and he gets just enough for the first down, about an 11-yard gain on the play there. That's Mahomes' first pass of the day. And it's going to be a first and 10 here at the 36. First first down here for Jack Boys. Interesting play call and a great way to read the defense and seeing that Farley was playing way too far off. And it's superstar versus superstar over there. Hartman is one-on-one -on -one with him once again. Tries to get the press off of him, and he can't. But he goes underneath to Tony Pollard. Cuts back inside to a tackle. Big nine-yard gain, and we're going to go second and inches. So second and inches here now with a 155 left here still in the first quarter. This is going to be one of those games that you got to kind of look at. And, and it, it's, I think it's really going to come down to the X factors on each team. Obviously, you got Patrick Mahomes. Uh, on the Chiefs' side, you got Derrick Henry on the other side. Um, you know, Malik Willis is a guy that, you know, as you stated earlier, he's not the best passer. So I don't think it's going to come down to him. It's going to be more of like a situation as we get a drop football here. And that's going to be a third down and inches. Tony Pollard with the drop football. And he had a lot of space there. But unfortunately, he drops it. Third down and inches coming up here now with a buck 28. As that play play has stopped, the clock has stopped, I should say. Thought he was going to hand it off, decides to give it there to Travis Kelsey. He gets the first and then some all the way down the sideline to the 29-yard line. And a big-time first down here for Jack Boys. Good play call, good way to read the defense. You see cover one, cover three set up. Hit, them, hit that whip route, hit that nay-nay and keep going, Travis Kelsey. You were married to a black woman, you know it all too well. <laughs> As we come up with first and ten here over the middle, Nicole with a... Great catch in traffic. First and goal already. Wow. And the throw. Take a look at the throw right here. Right after this replay that happened. Take a look at this throw. He throws his sideline that far up the field. 
And that's just an animation I guess Madden wanted to give him, but because that... and that's a good pass though with a free form. You threw it away from the defender and only allowed your receiver to get it. He missed the hole and it opened back up and give him a touchdown. Wow, big play right there for Jack Boys, and he punches in the first Kansas City Chiefs touchdown. 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 He originally missed the first A gap, but then a defender fell. He hop, skip, jumped him, and got pushed right into the end zone. Wow. Look, look at look at that missed A gap right there. He missed the first time. And then they just gave him he's like a bowling ball and they're the pins. He just ran them straight over. Yeah. That was crazy. Crazy play right there, but nonetheless, Jack Boys with the first touchdown of the day. Seven to three ball game here early in the first quarter. As again ready to end the first quarter here. And again, guys, thank you so much for tuning here to this AFC Divisional Round action here for the Madden Extreme League. And he's going to get this pass off here to Izzy is or Izzy ain't Isabella. And he'll get an eight-yard gain on the play. Second down and two as we get ready to end the first quarter. I've noticed a little trend. First downs for Jack Boys are going to be all-out blitzes. We need to see can T-Birds make mincemeat of that going into this second quarter here and as well as the second half and pay attention to the tendencies that Jack Boys has given him early on in this game. Mm. But for Jack Boys, on the other hand, you gotta make an adjustment. The next first down he gets, don't send the all out blitz, make him pay for it. I like that. I like that, I like that call right there. I, li I like what you say, I, I, I see where you're getting at. I see where you're getting at. Gonna hand it off here to Henry, and Henry breaks one. He knew that was gonna eventually happen. That's going to be a big first down, fourth total of the day. Only four yards here for Derrick Henry, but if T-Birds gets the juices flowing on that man, he's going to be something else here. He had 1,638 yards and 16 touchdowns in the regular season, so expect a lot of heavy dosage here of Derrick Henry in this second quarter, in my opinion here. Second down, it's going to be first to 10 here at the 43, and he tried to hit him right there, and he, look at there we go, breaking tackles again. It should have been a loss. Ends up being a seven-yard gain, and it's a second down and three now midfield at the 50. He switched it up. The man covers there with the cover one setup, but the screen is designed to beat that. The man guarding the running back is already blocked up the field by the offensive lineman, and that cost him right there. So another big game given up by this Chiefs defense, and we're on our third, third down of this drive already. And actually, they gave him the first there, so it is a first and 10 now. At the 47-yard line, and gonna hand it off here to Henry again, and Henry just bulldozing his way down to the 43-yard line, four-yard gain, and this is what you need to do right now if you're T-Birds. You want to just get Derrick Henry going, keep that running game going, and obviously you got Malik Willis as well too. We got to keep that in mind as far as rushing. He had 284 yards rushing and nine touchdowns rushing the football this year, so... Obviously, you know, most of those touchdowns were probably quarterback sneaks in the goal line situation. But nonetheless, he's got so he's got solid legs, so you got to give it to him. And wow, what a catch there by Izzy is or Izzy ain't Isabella. And he will get him another big time first down. Andy Isabella is cooking with fish grease. And when you look at this, he's one on one, but he missed a man outside who opened one on one for a touchdown. I don't think he saw him though. Nah, he definitely didn't see him. He definitely didn't see him, but that catch was marvelous. Darius Sneed just, oof. Pick your head up, player. Wow. First and 10 here at the 16 yard line, officially in the red zone. And he's going to hit him with the toss pass here to trailing Burks again. And Burks, he's got a couple totes here on the day here today, but just gets a one yard gain on the play there. Second down and nine now at the 16. Taking this sweet time, like I said, you know, sticking to his game plan, getting his playmakers the ball. He's spreading the ball eff effectively, but coming out in that strong close setup, he's flipped the play now to go to the other hash as he's on the right hash of the field. Once the play actually Oof. gets sacked in the backfield. Oof. Wow. Willie Gay. Willie Gay you know, with a big sack. I mentioned, I mentioned that he did it on first down, but that was a second down blitz that time. So yeah. there's the adjustment. Yeah, indeed. Here comes third and 13. Out the, at the 19-yard line. He wants to hold him to at least a field goal here, but the positive thing right now you can say for T-Birds, if he can't get this first down, and looks like he will not get it. 
good early, early breakup, they called it there. It's a fourth and 13. He's able to get the field goal try here at the very least, but scream. I got to say, I got to say, he's holding the field goals, which is a good thing. He's holding the field goals, but you got to be a little bit concerned with Jack Boy's defense because T-Birds is going downfield with no problem throughout the entire game this far. I think of Jack Boy as like a younger version of myself. I will give you any much, I will give you all the yardage in the world, but you're not going to score on my defense. And that's what he's showing right now. You know, yeah. you can have all the yards. Yards just one stat, but points yeah. are another. And yeah. Jack Boy is allowing the second least amount of points. He's only allowing 18 points a game. That's yeah. just six field goals. Yeah. yeah. So imagine that. Six field goals allowed a game. That I, I would love to have that kind of defense. And that's what Jack Boy is allowing right now. Indeed. And talk about talk about defense right now. Now they're gonna have they're gonna possibly T Bird's gonna possibly have his goose cooked here if he can't get things going. Because it looks like he's starting to get a little hot here now with Patrick Mahomes. Another dot right there, first Yo. and ten. Coming up here to 36 yard lines. Coming out here now in a strong set. It looks like more, well, at first, it looked like more of a wide receiver outplay there, but he decides to audible out there, and Tony Pollard will get the tote and will get down to the 50-yard line. Big gain on the play, first and 10, now midfield. Yeah, he made a great read there. Bust out through the B-gap, get your guys to the second level of blocking, and that forces the 4-3 setup now by the Titans to put everybody on the line, and now he has nothing but grass in front of him. It's only him and Fulton. Fulton potentially just saved the touchdown. He sure did right there. Second down and two, eight-yard gain on the play there. Just under four minutes remaining here in the first half. Again, big shout out to everybody vibing with us here. I see the Dakota Nader and also Enraged Sam. Thank you guys so much for the follow here on Snipes TV. Also, Paranormal, thank you for the follow as well, too. Guys, we appreciate your viewership, and welcome to Snipes Nation. Snipes Nation. Snipes Nation. Snipes Nation. Snipes Nation. So second down and two coming up here. Mahomes. Again here in the gun set. And RPO to the outside, and that is picked off daily to the 50, 30, 20, 10, TTC to the crib for the touchdown. touchdown. He tried it once, and he worked well. 11-yard game. He tried him again, and he said, I'm going to show you six, a pick six. And that is exactly what we need when a defender can make up for his mistakes. He's seven yards off the ball. And look at how quick he drops down and picks off Mahomes for six. He's six yards off the ball. Wow. <laughs> wow. I tell you what, man. I tell you what, sometimes, sometimes I think of this game when you see things like that go down. You know what I mean? You know, obviously, we got to realize it is a video game, so these things will happen. They can and they will happen. Should they happen? No. <laughs> but these things do happen. You know, six yards off the ball, still able to reach and get an interception like that. But nonetheless, what's done is done. And here comes Valdez Scanlon off the RPO and gets down to the 33-yard line. Seven-yard gain on the play. Second down and three coming up here. I do like that Jack Boys is consistently running the RPOs to see what kind of defense he's setting up in. And coming out in that 4-3 look right there, he played over. And when that blitz went down for the rush defense, he immediately noticed, you know what, pass option, go. And here we are again with another one, but he runs it this time, and he has nothing but grass. Ooh. It's a hard cut just a little too early. Knocked down at the 47-yard line of Tennessee, and he gets the big first down. So first and 10 now here at the 47, 250 left here in the first half. And I think we're in for a treat here, uh, Scream. I really do. I think we're in for a treat, man. I, think this, I don't think this is going to be a blowout. I still think it's going to be a very, very close ball game. These guys are kind of playing each other even with the exception of the bad mistake that Jack Boys just made a few moments ago. We'll see what he could do here on this drive as he is at the 47 now. Play clock winding down to seven seconds. Play action pass here for Mahomes. Quick out there to Kelsey. Kelsey breaks one with a truck and gets down to the 37. Exactly 10 on the play. And a first and 10 now at the 37-yard line as we hit the two-minute warning. What I'm noticing right now, Jack Boys is attacking Christian Fulton. He's attacked Farley on a 
not necessarily a consistent basis, but the two times he attacked him, he got an 11-yard gain, and then he gave up a pick six. So he's going to keep the ball away from Farley's side of the field. He may shut the entire left side down, but more of these passes that have happened have happened up the middle and happened to the right, where Christian Fulton and Kevin Byard have to make the plays that Caleb Farley is making. And until then, keep targeting them. Here comes Mahomes again, and this time the sidearm throw. That hurt him right there. That's why that ball got swatted. As you quickly take a quick look at this replay here, that is why this ball got swatted. He hit him with the play action, and he hit him with the sidearm, and it didn't even get swatted. It just hit his helmet. It was just a bad play right there by uh, Patrick Mahomes. Second down and 10 here now at the 37-yard line. It's got Kelsey right there. And watch that corner out for Kelsey. Might give him a shot. Decides to throw it there to Miko Harmon. He'll get the first. And Jukes out of bounds at the 23-yard line. 8 for 11 on the day here with a pick for Patrick Mahomes. But it's a first and 10 now here at the 23. Anytime you see Fulton lined up, he is going to one-on-one. -on -one. Now, if you're T-Birds, the adjustments you have to make, whether you're on cornerbacks with, uh, you know, speed or overall, you need to... You tell them, Scream. Uh, you need... <laughs> That's you a little need Scream, by the way, guys. Fulton up out of there. You got to get Christian Fulton out of there somehow, some way. He is getting killed. Yes, he is. First and goal now here at the eight. And this time, looks like he's going to try to hit him with this wide receiver out. He's back for the pass here, and going to roll out. Nobody's open. He's got to throw that away, and he does just that. So a second and goal here. Now at the eight-yard line, good defense. Right there as he tried to hit him on that double outs. He came out once before in this quarter with that same play, but ended up audible and now tried to do it here in the red zone. And not sure why he wanted to do that, but nonetheless, second down goal here at the eight. And RPO to the outside, and he's going to stay inside, and he will punch in a Jack Boys touchdown. 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 Like I said, that 4-3 is getting smoked by the 4-4. You bring in four linebackers, I'm seeing crazy receivers. You got to start personnel matching. Some users do not like to wait, and some users don't like to personnel match. They play their defense and they go. But against Jack Boys, you have to personnel match, even if you run man right there. Personnel matching prevents a touchdown. Yeah, 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 yeah. So one-point game now, 14-13. to 13. This is what we wanted, and we're getting it right now. One point ball game here in the AFC divisional round. First and 10 here now to 25. And gonna get it here to Isabella and the speedster will get out of bounds at the 32 yard line. Andy Isabella got it got released by the Cardinals in real life uh, yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Not sure if he got picked up just yet, but he's a guy that when, you, when they put him on waivers, nobody picked him up. Uh, but obviously in the game of Madden, he's essential simply because of speed. And he showed right there, though. Second down and three, and they tried to get big on him here. But that'll bring it out to a third down and three here at the 32-yard line with 105 left here in the first half. Come on, come on. Andy Isabella is on the Ravens practice squad. Uh, so the Ravens picked him up for Lamar. Give him another speech there. Mm. Uh, but the crazier part is that once again, T-Birds is not looking to the left side of the field. He's sticking to the right side and trying to kill the right side of the field. But he had a man wide open on a streak. Left, one-on-one, -on -one, and he's just ignoring throwing the ball to the left. So he has to start looking at the entire field instead of waiting too long like he just did there to get mm. a sack. Mm. And that's tough right there. When you got a guy like Malik Willis, I mean, if you don't see anybody open, man, use the legs, get away as fast as you possibly can. You can't wait till they're about to get up there to kiss you, basically and then try to take off. You can, just can't do that against any defense here, especially the Chiefs defense, as they've been very solid this season. McDuffie trying to get to it, and a great breakup right there by Jack Boys, and that'll bring it to a third and long. Smart defense there, but when you see a cover six, you got to send the streaks out of the corner. Send the corner, but send the streak with it. He got to make a decision. You got to pick one or the other, and one will kill him, and one won't, and that one didn't. Third, third down and 25 here now, 35 seconds left. And here comes Willis again. He tries to sit tight in the pocket and gets a nice catch right there to Burks. Burks has been very busy here today. So fourth down and two here at the 44-yard line, and he's got to punt the football out. So great job again by the Chiefs.
defense. And he kept Barry in there to make sure that he wasn't going to be faking the punt here because we've seen a lot of that in Isaiah Pacheco, one of my favorite players in the league. He's coming up here and gets to the 27. That's a first and 10 now here at the 22. So we got 22 seconds remaining here in this first half. And it looks like right now, Jack Boys, he's just going to settle here and take his one-point lead coming into the half. So in the meantime, while we get ready to get to halftime here, may as well talk about our, my sponsor here on Snipes Television, which is Gimme My Props. So, guys, for all your NFL and NBA betting tips and sport junkie needs, guys, make sure you check out Gimme My Props, all one word. New episodes each and every Friday available on all podcast platforms, Apple and Spotify. Again, make sure you check these guys out. Gimme My Props podcast. Definitely check them out each and every Friday. And it's again, it's available on Apple and Spotify. So with that being said, first half of the book, so one point game, 14 to 13 as we get ready to start the third quarter. And Scream, I gotta ask you, did you expect it to be this low scoring between both of these guys? I mean, I, I always thought it was gonna be a, a low scoring game, but not this low in my opinion. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be 14-13 at all. I definitely thought we'd be at like 21-24 uh, halftime only because these are two high-powered offenses going against uh, great defenses. But usually the high-powered offense in Madden Check wins match. with the jump balls and the crazy run schematics as Derrick Henry runs up the middle, breaks the first tackle, gets boomed the 28-yard line. I, I definitely am shocked it's lower than what it is. But this is where both guys got to keep their defenses up and keep this a low-scoring game. You know... A goal for both guys, no touchdowns this half. Yeah. Just field goals. Yeah. Basically, basically in a nutshell, you know, you you, you gotta you gotta think of the of the normal slogan that they say in football, bend but don't break for both of these guys. So we'll see what happens here. Second down to six. Quick pass out there to Henry. Henry will get the first, keeps going on the sideline, keeps going on the sideline, and he's all finally down at the 40 yard line. First and ten now here at the 40 big time play there by derrick henry 38 yard reception for derrick henry great yak and he just kept going 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 like the mac truck that he is first and ten. First and ten now at the 40 seven minutes left here in the third and gonna hand it off to henry straight up the middle this time around he gives a great positive gain of about six there so i'm gonna put him in the field goal range at the very least second down at four here eric berry on that tackle his third tackle of the day So Willis coming out here, second down and four. And got out of it, and that is just ugly right there. Yet another ugly pass here by Malik Willis as he got out of the play action early in this one. And it's a third down and four coming up. Yeah, I think that he just panicked. Um, he saw the blitzer coming right off the edge and just decided to cancel play action. And the cancel play action actually prevented the sack. So, yeah. you know, he did get something for that. Had him open over the middle, but he goes to the corner right there with Traylon Burks and gets another first down. That is a beautiful pass right there. Nice float up. Good play action pass right here. Barry couldn't get there to him, and there it is. Good try there by Eric Barry, but nonetheless, Jack Boys couldn't get to him. Brings him in the field goal range, and now he can take the lead if he has to kick one at the very least. But we obviously know he wants a touchdown here. He's been using a lot of Burks here in this ball game so far and let's see what he does here gets it to henry this time and this time henry will go down and it looks like a yard on the play there so second down and nine coming up here at the 15 yard line with six minutes left here in the third quarter i'm interested that he ran a read option honestly he should run a lot more of those not even the rpo version has to happen as jack boys comes out in an obvious cover zero you have to diagnose it here and get a quick pass off you run to the outside or even pass the qb contain mm. and gets the first down with willis hey you called it yeah great call you got to use the legs for willis and willis is a guy that uh, again that you get an opportunity to use those legs you use them he, he's you know he, he could carry the ball pretty well as well too uh, you know, within this game, again, with this with this particular uh, team here uh, for the Man Extreme League, I'm not sure what his uh, stats are here. 
But I know in other leagues, his carry is up. So he's a guy that you definitely want to run with if you get the opportunity as Traylon Burks gets another opportunity here and doesn't get much of anything. And it's a second and goal now here at the five-yard line. Good try. But nonetheless, that's his sixth reception of the day here today. He's got a couple of those jet passes here already, making a couple big plays here and just continuing to just move the football, but didn't get much there on that last one. But a second and goal now here at the five. I'm going to hand it off to Henry, and I thought he was going to break that tackle, but he does stay positive, and now it's a third down and goal here at the two, and I say feed the beast. Give it to Derrick Henry right here, right now. Yeah, and to go back to the Malik Littis carry problem, uh, 67 carrying, 89 change of direction, 82 juke move, and 88 bell cow vision. Mm. It ain't ball carry, it's bell cow. I don't mm. care what you say. <laughs> 92 speed as well and 86 break tackle, I mean, uh, break sack, so great yeah. play call back there. Gets a Derrick Henry run once again, but that A-gap is closed. Mm. He said, A-B, I will see you on fourth down. Mm. Fourth down coming up here, and again, you got Derrick Henry, you got Malik Willis, you go for it here, and we talked earlier about Malik Willis's, uh, you know, touchdowns. Again, he had nine in the regular season, and we said most of them are from quarterback sneaks. You got to expect it here on fourth down and goal. And there it is. And there is no touchdown. He does not get in. It's a TOD on the play. First and 10 at the one for Jack Boys. This is why I said in the first quarter what I said on the earlier first down. You take the points. His knee is down yes. before the ball crosses the plane. Yes. That left knee touchdown, that might be an awareness thing or a carry a carry situation again the carrying is on 67 bell cow is on 88 i definitely think it should have been a touchdown but the Yo. you take three points and you have the lead first and ten here now at the one yard line and he's gonna hand this off here to jones and that won't be a safety just yet but he doesn't go anywhere there's gonna be a second down and ten here at the one yard line that is just a tough situation for t-birds he's been doing it all year long getting those QB sneaks this time he couldn't get it done and it was just simply because it wasn't because of the de of the defensive line it was simply because he just dropped his knee early unfortunately the animation monster killed him there basically but a second and 10 now here at the one this is going to be an interesting play call you got to hit that yep there you go there you go perfect call perfect call. the other side of the field Perfect. As soon as he said, oh, mm. Fulton, give me your mm. ankles. Mm. Mm. That's a perfect call by Jack Boys. Audible to, audible B for a quick out. Beautiful call. Fantastic call right there. First and 10 at the 18. And we got to watch the RPO, and it's not going to come out there. Pollard's going to break to the outside, cut inside, and he'll get right there at the 22-yard line of four-yard gain. Second down and six. I think I'm bad luck. You know, I just called a game where a quarterback sneak did not go in on fourth down, and then the other user went 99 yards in 10 plays for a touchdown. <laughs> Look to see if Jack Boys can recreate that magic. In back-to-back -back games, I'd have 99 touchdown drives being called as he goes underneath to Tony Pollard. The cover zero doesn't help, and Farley saves a touchdown, first and 10. So first and 10 here now at the 31-yard line. 238 remaining here in the third. And this is just like, it's just one of those, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm up in my seat, man. I typically, when I, when I commentate and I got my headset on, I, 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 simply, I simply chill back and just relax. Bro, I'm, I'm like on the edge of my seat right now, like the way hey, this I'm, game is I'm going. I'm sitting straight up in the ergonomic. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm sitting straight up and just invested right now. I'm this not, is like, I'm not this is playoff football, though, I'm, so. I'm, not, I'm not using the backpacks. <laughs> I'm not using them at all, not bro. At all. <laughs> Handed off here to Pollard, and Pollard is stuck at the 30-yard line. A loss of one on a play with two minutes left here in the third quarter. Second down at 11 as Cunningham gets a big-time play on that one. I think I, I don't hate the defense that T-Birds is coming out in, but again, personnel matching is so much better fit for this defense right now. You may not have a lot of DBs as Travis Kelsey is wide mm. the hell open, God. but personnel matching prevents that. You can put Kevin Byard at sub LB, allow a younger guy to be over top who's faster anyway, and you can guard these receivers. Mahomes has only incompleted four passes. When was the pick six that we saw? 
but he's dotted you up otherwise. You got a personnel match to stop this guy. Here comes Pollard again here up the middle, and he will get down to the 44, six-yard gain on the play. So second down and four coming up. A couple yards shy of another at least field goal range. Let's see what happens here. Second and four here at the 44-yard line. So a couple games have already been played here in the divisionals. Or well, most of the games, if I'm not mistaken, have been played in the divisionals. And we get another first down here. Uh, and uh, one of them, which was very, very, like, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Uh, but the number one seed, Philadelphia Eagles, gone. Gone. Knocked out. Yeah, that by was, nothing. that was, uh, we saw nothing oh yesterday. Oh, my Lord. Wow, you nice play. Just now? Nice play. Nice play there by Mahomes. That's that's Patrick Mahomes for you right there. We're going to talk about that game shortly, though, but that's a look at this pass. Look at the dot. Right over two defenders. That is just absolutely fantastic right there. No time left here as Pollard's going to run this right inside. Made it look easy. And Jack Boys punches in a big touchdown. 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 He was like a pinball. He just bounced it, bounced it, bounced it, bounced it until he bounced into the end zone. I thought Tony Pollard was not going to be the answer in this game, and clearly I was mistaken, and Jack Boys is making me eat my words. Man. 21 to 13 going into the fourth. Fantastic game here so far. 21 points here for Jack Boys now. Four's up, folks. 21 to 13, Jack Boys on top by eight now in the AFC Divisional Round. Winner moves on to the AFC Championship game. He's gonna square off against either the Bengals or the Bills. And this should be just, it's just so crazy, but kind of going back a little bit real quick to what I was talking about there in the NFC. Again, the 15 and two Philadelphia Eagles, they lose by four points today against nothing and the Rams. Nothing is doing something, Scream, here in these playoffs. He moves on to that <laughs> NFC Championship game. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing doing something. That just does not sound right. <laughs> uh, you know, and I, I really feel bad for uh, – oh, that's a different play call. Yes, it it is. did not work. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I, I feel bad for the guys in Emmy. Uh, you know, you don't concede games when you choke. And for the Eagles to be the one seed and lose his first game in the playoffs yes. and choke – Yes. and concede at the end of the game mm. you just not called for you're at you, you had 30 seconds left man just hold your ear like a man and come back next year stronger you gave the game away you know we watched it you, you gave it away and yeah yeah that that's was, uncalled for unfortunately yeah, yeah definitely tough right there as austin hooper will get this catch here it's a third down imaginable five coming up here but uh you know obviously you know that you know the guys over at me they typically deal with those things uh not sure exactly what's going on down or what happened or whatever uh not really worrying about it per se you know what i mean but we do know that nothing again he i mean he did work throughout the entire game he and look at that wide open is he is or is he eight isabella ttc to the crib for the touchdown, touchdown. touchdown. Is he isn't or is he ain't? Because he is in the end zone. And, you know, <laughs> the shout out Jack Boys. Uh, he did get that 99 yard touchdown. Like I said, so he, he did get the 99 yard drive. So back to back games for me, I'm just a bad luck charm. <laughs> 21 to 19. And he's going to go for the two point conversion to try to tie this thing up. Let's see what he could do here with 658 left in this game. Willis back, flats right there. Easy money. Big play, big two-point conversion. And just like that scream, we got a ball game, guy. Like I said, you know, Jack Boys cannot come out in that man blitz. It's it's too evident. He wants that table route all the way through and through. You cannot allow that the rest of the game. And it looked like he had a wide open run back, but mm. guys just randomly let go. He he had a big lane there, but he does get to the 30 yard line. So, I mean, uh, excuse me, 32. So, you know, first and 10. This third down and five play right here. We just got to simply just make sure we take a quick look at this. And yeah, that was just a run commit. That was just a missed run commit on that one, unfortunately. So first and 10 here to 32 now. And Mahomes going to hit him with the play act. Roll out to the left side here. Nothing open just yet. And that's caught. Oh, wow. That's a catch. They call that a catch. It's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. T toe drag swag? 
for me, Cole? That ain't just happen. That ain't just happen. I don't know, On a man. Play action comeback? I don't know. <laughs> I gotta look at that again after this play, man. I have to. And they and they don't call it back. Oh no. wow. They did not call it back. First and ten here at the 49. go back and look at that once I have to scream I'm sorry I have to I gotta put it on super slow right here as soon as he throws that nah, we we gotta understand how that we understand it's a video game but that is just nah man insane it's, logic wow Jack boys got away with one right there in my opinion I mean I might have to just pause it next time I look at it I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna put that in my queue we gotta look at that later on for sure that might be play of the game. Man, definitely. It definitely might be a play of the game there as Pollard gets a toad. He's over 100 yards rushing here. It's a third down and 10 9 midfield. But again, we got a tie ball game, folks. A tie ball game here in the fourth quarter for the chance to go to the AFC Championship game. Jack Boys has won a ton of chips here. Uh, for those that don't know about what's going on here in the Madden Extreme League, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll let you take a look at it shortly. He's won a ton of championships here, and look at Travis Kelsey, and he can't get to a great user swat. That'll bring it now to a fourth down and 10. Big time play on defense there for the T-Birds. Ah, man, you know, I said this game was gonna end 30-27 in favor of the Titans, and we got five and a half minutes left of action to see what can happen. Titans are gonna get the ball, it looks like, at the 14-yard line. So he has 86 yards to pound the rock with Derrick Henry and company. And like you mentioned, Jack Boys is a three-time Super Bowl champion. He may be four. Maybe you seasons before this that we don't remember. No, no, uh, but no, no, he not made four this, straight man. Super Bowls and lost to Red Man in season eight. But season nine, it looks like it's his to lose, according to West. And we just gonna rock with that. Yeah, and Andy Isabella's gonna get the ball once again. Jets touch pass, a juke, and it goes down for an eight-yard gain to the 22-yard line. 259 yards right now for Malik Willis passing the football. Those touch passes, they definitely help out with those stats. They help him pad those pass stats a little bit there. And it's a second down and two after the eight-yard gain on the play. As McDuffie gets the tackle there, so here comes Willis. And Willis is going to hand this off here to Derrick Henry. First down on the play. And goes down at the 33-yard line. So first and 10 now at the 33, 447 left here in the game. And this is a situation here now where, again, when you have Derrick Henry, when you have Malik Willis, you literally can use the entire clock and run this football if you get the opportunity. He's going to hit him with a screen. He's got wide open greenery, and he will finally get knocked down after a little bit of help midfield at the 50-yard line. First and 10 with 420 left. I can't call it an interesting play call because we've seen him run the screen versus his cover one all game long. And Jack Boys has not found the adjustment to make it work. So if he can keep getting these screens or these shorts passes off, Malik Willis will keep having a great day. But he gets knocked around after a seven-yard game. Derrick Henry only has 45 or 46 rushing yards on the day. So I mean, it's he, the pass that's killing him. It's yeah. not even the run. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. But in the, again, in this situation now, where this is where playoff football comes into play, ground and pound, and now he's got the opportunity to just use clock and run this football like he wants to. He's gonna get it here to Burks again. Good chip block, he gets the first down. He's in field goal range, all the way down now to the 25 yard line. Big time first to 10 play there for T-Bird. And it only took two minutes. It took him two minutes to get to this point of the field. Field goal range in full control of the game. Can take his time here and get a field goal, but you also have to ask yourself, do you trust your defense to stop Miko? Marquez Valdez, Scantling, Travis Kelsey, and Tony Pollard. Henry with the tote here again and goes down, just gets a yard on the play here. So it's going to be a second down and nine coming up. Again, continuing to just run this football here, run out this entire fourth quarter. Got it. Can't blame him. When you're playing a guy like Jack Boys and you have this opportunity, it's right here in your grasp now. You got an easy chip shot field goal down there. And he's going to come out here and pass the football this time. This is the situation, and he will get the catch. And a big first down as Jack Boys could not keep up with him at all. And it's a first and ten. Big play here by T-Bird again. Smart to go a man underneath. 
Barry didn't know who he wanted to guard. He had two men open. He chose the right one in Traylon Burks. First down. First and 10 now here with 240 left. You can expect we're going to see a lot of the running game going on here. We talked about it maybe two and a half minutes ago. That if he runs this football, he could close this game out. And he is doing exactly that right now. It's just a nine-yard gain on that play. Second down and one. As we are getting close to the two-minute warning. And it could be trouble here now for Jack Boys here, Scream. Two-minute warning to tell the entire story. Does it give up a touchdown? Let's give up a field goal. We'll see. Three yards to go. Indeed, indeed. Shout out to my guy, McCauley, in the building. Good to see you, brother. Big shout out to the Usos in the building. Appreciate y'all coming through here once again, man. Most definitely. Man, two-minute warning. Playoff football here for the Madden Extreme League. Can't ask for anything better than this here. Second and one at the three-yard line. And I think it'd be inclined to just let him score quick, in my opinion. But we'll see what happens here. Second and one here at the three. He's going to hand this off here, and he will get the first down. And that's what I'm talking about right there. So now we got the first. He can put more time off the clock. And a timeout's going to be called here by the Chiefs. First to goal at the one-yard line. He stops the clock, which makes perfect sense. You have to allow the touchdown, and you'll have a minute 50 probably to get a touchdown. Just a minute 50. Now, we can still see a fumble. We can still see a bad pitch. We Bad things happen all the time. Mm -hmm. But coming out in the strong close, fullback dive is your option. Look at look at over the center. There's nobody over the center but a linebacker. Fullback dive. There it is. Boom. <laughs> he made a pay on top of that, too. Derrick Henry getting a big T-burst touchdown. 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 Yeah, nobody's over that center. I'm running right at the center. There, there's nobody there. He didn't pinch his line. It's unfortunate, but we get the Titans lead. It's only been touchdowns here in two-point conversions. No field. Like, outside of those two field goals he got, it, it's just a really close game, and Jack Boys has about a minute 54 to figure it all out. 28 to 21. 28 to tw Isaiah Pacheco. That's a good block in there for a moment. I thought he was going to get a little bit more space there, but he does get to the 29. It's going to be a first and 10 now at the 29-yard line. 28 to 21. 71 yards, man. Make or break. That's it. It's what Fifth it is. Super Bowl on the line for Jack Boys. That's what it is here. And a fumble on the play, and there it is. Oh, my goodness. Rice missed a fumble you. recovery. I told you. We've and seen bad things happen. You, and you know what's funny? We called a game earlier for Madden Extreme, earlier this wow. season, and you were the one that made the note. When you run into those tackle battles, yeah. watch out and hold the ball because you can lose it. Yep. And Jack Boys just learned that the hard way. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Those tackle battles, man. I'm not the biggest fan of those tackle battles at all. But a man, oh man, well, they could come back to hurt you. Second down is six. Buck 35 left here, and he gets a good stop there. So final timeout's going to be called. So he can run another play here, run some clock out, kick a field goal, and he's got a 10-point lead. I got to agree with uh, Usos, man. That run commit touchdown to Andy Izzy Wizzy is the difference That's, right now. Yes. And then that fumble just hurts. Chris Jones is in the zone, but he runs away from him, and he gets about a solid five yards. We call it six. Fourth and three, no timeouts. Can run this, take a delay a game, and then kick the field goal and go crazy. Man, fourth down and three. And it really looks like T-Birds is going to he's gonna get this done. He's, it looks like it's going to be a done deal here. Obviously, he's going to let this clock just run on down. Tennessee, the number one seed in the AFC. And it looks like the number one seed on the AFC, they're going to move on to the championship. And like I said, on the other side, Philly, they lost their game today. They were lost by four points, 21 to 17. As kick is up, and this kick is true. So, 31 to 28. 
Thanks to a fumble by Jack Boys on the first drive of his last drive. Let's see what he does here. I hate to see it. I hate to see it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's unfortunate. Again, when you, when you look at it here, this was his last drive. This is unfortunate. These things happen, though. These things happen, man, when those tackle battles uh, come up. It's unfortunate. And he pays for it with three points here. So first and 10 here, 43 seconds left. In order to have any type of prayer to get back in this game, he needs a quick score and an onside kick. He's going to try that sidearm throw, and that was just ugly right there. Second down and 10 coming up here at the 25. Insane, man. Insane. Yes. <laughs> so insane for this game, man. Second and 10 at the 25-yard line. Congratulations to T-Birds, though. I mean... He stayed in the game. You know, that 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 was the beauty of it. He stayed with his scheme. And, cont and there's another pick. Fulton getting it done. You talked about Fulton earlier. <laughs> you talked about him earlier. And he closes it out. Yeah, he was getting cooked, man. He was getting cooked. Fulton got cooked all game. He closes it out here today. Wow. What a finish. What a finish here today. 10-point win here today. Jack Boys is officially out. T-Birds moves on to the AFC Championship and will square off against either Buffalo or the Bengals. It's going to be one of the two. But, man, what a finish here today. Scream, man. So, I got to ask you, man. I gotta ask you again. You, you got you got the right you got the right call today. You got T Birds winning the game. He won the game. Congratulations. He definitely got it done, man. But I gotta say, I gotta say that Jack Boys he got he got lucky and then he got unlucky. Do you agree with that call? <laughs> and what and, and what I'm talking about basically is one particular play we talked about it earlier and we're talking about this play right here this play off the off the reverse or off the play action i should say and actually getting the first down on this play let me remove that right there and i had to pause it right there for a moment and i, I guess mean, his toes are he he's hitting the smooth criminal right there yes. both toes are in at yes. that point so yeah. if they call it from that point, then I get it. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got to give him that. So he got an incredible play on that one. But other than that, other than that, that last fumble, man, that last fumble was a killer for him, unfortunately. And uh, that's going, man, that's going to do it for him, man. That's a tough, tough day here for him today. Uh, but nonetheless. It's a done deal. 31-21, to 21, the final count in this ball game. As Scream, what did you think about this game, brother? I think it was good overall, man. Uh, as I'll come back on camera here, forgot I took it down. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Uh, I think that it was a good game overall, no matter what. I think just at the end there, the Pollard fumble definitely cost Jack Boys, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, he was on his way to go down the field, but, you know, first play fumble is never good. Uh, sometimes we forget to put the ball on conservative for the ball carrier late. And, you know, you could consider that the reason that Jack Boys lost the ball entirely. Uh, not necessarily by his own doing of anything, but better defense creates better offense. And that's why T-Birds was able to get this win here and move on to the AFC Championship game. Indeed, indeed, man. Look, you know, congratulations, though, to Jack Boys. Again, he didn't, uh, you know, he didn't get it done here, but, uh, but, but again, had a great season with the Chiefs, man. He, he, he was able to knock out uh, the Chargers. That's his favorite team. Uh, but he was able to actually knock out the Chargers, uh, you know, in a, in a, in a third time to charm matchup, I like to call it. Uh, he, he got it done there. But, man, this game here, this was a tough one. This is a tough one. And the way... And to lose, you know what, I, I scream, you know what it is? The biggest thing for me is to lose in that fashion, to fumble where you fumbled.
that's where it hurts. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, yep. that's where it hurts. Because he had an opportunity. He was given the opportunity. And first play, fumbles a football. That hurts. That definitely hurts, man. Definitely, definitely sucks, man. It, it's definitely the worst. Uh, I do agree with Jack Boys. You're not able to juke or do any crazy moves or ball carrier things yeah. when you go conservative. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, just late in the game, and again, I'm only speaking for myself as a user, uh, I go conservative only because at the end of the day, winning's more important than anything. So that that's a crazy way to hold it hell, though. I will admit, in it's playoffs, like... Those are the ones you wish you can get back. Yeah. It makes you want to trade the player after. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I agree. I, I agree with you there. I do agree with you there. But hey, I mean, they'll have a off season or whatever. Uh, you know, Jack Boyle definitely have he Jack Boyle typically has a very good, very good off seasons. Okay, so I'm not too worried about Jack Boys at all. But nonetheless, T Bird, he moves on, man, and and. I am intrigued to see Scream what he's going to be able to do against either the Bengals or the Bills, which is probably going to be a pretty intense game. I don't think they played yet, um, but um, that game is going to be probably pretty intense. Again, heads if they did not yeah, play. So, I don't know if they uh, played yet or not. So ironically, uh, either way, it will be a rematch. Both all yes. three of these teams played each other yes. uh, during the season. Uh, the Titans actually beat the Bills 40 to 33 week two, and he also beat the Bengals 34 28 week 12. So yep. T Bird's got the upper hand on both of these guys already, and he'll see one of them back in the rematch no matter what. So yeah, good luck to both those guys on the other end, and hopefully you guys can get your revenge versus T Bird's. <laughs> indeed, indeed, man. So listen, guys. Look, with that being said, man, AFC uh, divisional round here on Snipes anyway is complete. So we're going to be moving on to the AFC and NFC championship games uh, once they are all set to go and, you know, time to be determined. Um, and let me just say real quick and scream, you you can probably, um, I, I don't know if you guys at AGS has been talking about this as well too, but I've been telling everybody in my streams throughout the day today um, about the uh, the possibility of the, uh, the, the patch that is coming out supposedly next week. So what is uh, basically happening is... Um, Patch is supposed to come out sometime next week, okay? When I've been telling every single league that I deal with, okay, because this is the word that we've got, okay? Um, I've told every single league that when they get done with Super Bowls, and I'm telling you to do this too because AGS included, okay? Do not advance after the Super Bowl. Don't do it. Do not advance until after this patch comes out. Wait. Did they say it's coming Tuesday? It's supposed to be coming between Tuesday and Thursday next week. FYI, it is possibly, possibly, they haven't said officially yet, but it is possibly anywhere between a 40 to 44 gig update. Damn near Madden 24, basically. So oh, shit. It, okay. it's a Excuse lot. Me. Yeah, it's a lot to, to fix. We all know there's a lot to fix in the game. A lot. Okay. So... Um, to everybody out there that, that's in playoffs or whatever, hold off on advancing your leagues after Super Bowls. Take your time. Relax. You don't have to rush to get playoffs done just so you can get to the offseason. Because if you go to the offseason, as everybody's been telling everybody, there's been a ton of problems with drafts, with people having to reset leagues because they get into a draft and then they get stuck. All types of things. You know what I'm saying? And make sure also that you guys, uh, all you commissioners, make sure that you guys back up all of your uh, all of your rosters so you know who goes where. Use your uh, use your uh, uh, your neon sports sites and all that stuff. Back up all your things in the game in the game. Put it into the Madden Cloud and also put it into your onto your console. Okay. Make sure you back those rosters up so that way. You know where every player is supposed to be. All right? You got to have some different things in order. I'm just giving you guys that right now so that way when these when these updates come out, there's no problems with your leagues and you're not confused as to who goes where and this, that, and the third. All right? So I just wanted to put that out there to everybody, man. I definitely wanted to tell you, Screen, because you're a part of AGS and I know you guys are about to hit the AFC and NFC Championship there too and I know they want to kind of get the train rolling. But don't advance until this patch comes out. Because it's going to be retroactive to your league also. So I just wanted to let you know that, Scream. 
Yep, I just put the word in to people who need to know, so hopefully things go well. Yeah. Uh, we had a freaking five-day wait to get the wild card done, but we got the divisional in one day, so. Yeah, yeah. You know, the championship games are probably tomorrow. Uh, we don't know times just yet, but yeah. Super Bowl looks like it'll be Sunday probably, if not Saturday, so. Okay. We'll see what happens. Okay. All right. Well, all right, guys. Well, look, we're going to get on out of here. I got one more game I got to do for the Madden Elite League. I'm about to go ahead and get that game going here, too. So, I, I see you on the you, you on the cam right now, so I know what you're about to do for me because, you know, <laughs> I know what we do here. And I can see the, I, I can see the wheels getting getting burnt up and ready to go here right now. You no, know, I actually <laughs> forgot till you said that. Oh, I did you? <laughs> I'm glad you said it though, because now yeah. I can't do it. Because so now, now we go do now we go do because he knows my motto at the end of the day, what I say each and every time. With that being said, your boy Snipes, and for my guys Scream, we're gonna get on out of here. We will catch you guys in the next one. Slide folks! He's going to get the first down. Jalen Waddle, baby, Waddle, baby, Waddle. T to the twin for the touchdown. Dove, Gary with the pick. Gary on his way. Waddle. For the Packers. And Dove. Gary Goff can make all the throws. Great throw. Crowder a little out. For the races. To the 50. Brooks Warren. And this is brought all the way back from Miami. Oh, a big fumble by Allen, and look at the hit. And that's what you got to look forward to sometimes in this game. Oh, see, that's what we'll see.